following disturbing reports released by the Ministry of Health showing that over 162 people were killed by malaria in northern Uganda, the matter has hit the floor of parliament with representatives uh, from those the 10 districts that were mentioned by the Ministry of Health raising dust on the floor of parliament. Many of them are saying that this is a shock to them. Apparently, now I'm being joined by a woman representative of Uyam district, one of the districts that was worst hit, showing a number of 26 people dying in the space of about one month. As a district, our people embrace the indoor residual spraying. And we thought by embracing that, we will not see cases of m m mosquitoes killing our people. But on the contrary, 31 people dying per week and 12,914 patients admitted. That is so worrying. Santa is not the only woman who is shocked by these revelations, but also the woman representative for Dokula District, Cecilia Ogwao, who doubles as the shadow chief whip in parliament. She's also shocked with the revelations. I'm surprised that from the statistics now, Oyam District is doing worst in terms of malaria death. So that means there is something wrong with the chemicals. We are too shocked and even the people are surprised because even earlier on, before this spraying, we didn't have such a, a thing. But everywhere, almost all homes, there are cases of malaria. However, Ogwa does not rule out the fact that Ministry of Health officials from the National Medical Stores also may have dispatched fake chemicals and medicine. The way things are going in Uganda, there is a possibility that they could even be using um, expired drugs. I don't know. There could even be that there are wrong labels to the chemicals. I don't know. Anything can happen in Uganda. As far as, as, far as I'm concerned, corruption has become institutionalized. If you don't carry out corruption where you are working, then you must be stupid or mad. That's how things are done in Uganda. Well, first of all, it is known that usually when you carry out indoors as you're spraying, there are changes in the immunity of the people affected. And therefore, when you stop this IRS, sometimes it is expected that there can be a malaria surge thereafter. And what is important is how to plan for the exit when you complete the indoor residual spraying.